what board we play in the woods Always on the run from Captain Hook run, run, Oh, I can't get enough of that song and that voice. This talented Edmonton native burst onto the scene with her touching ballad, Lost Boy, and has been raking in accolades and awards ever since. Everyone, please welcome Ruth B. Girl, that voice. Thank you so much. That's just your... It was God-given, wasn't it? I guess, yeah. I've always been singing, so it's pretty fun. And when did you start playing piano? We were having a nice conversation before. Yeah, I started playing when I was about eight years old, and I took lessons for like five years, I think. So. And we both found something in common. Yes, we weren't the biggest piano. We didn't love the piano lessons, no. <laughs> but you're very grateful that yes, your parents... Yes, I am. So thankful, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, and congratulations, you just won your first Juno Thank you. for Breakthrough Artist of the Year. I know, crazy, crazy. What does that actually mean to you as an artist? It means a lot. I think, especially as a kid from Canada, the Junos have always been such a big deal. So for yes. me, just going and being a part of it was amazing. And, and to win and bring something home, it's been so just amazing and unreal. I, and you said you're from Canada, obviously Edmonton, Alberta. Yeah. I mean, how are your friends and family? Just what do they think? What do they think about all this success so far? Everybody's been so excited and so supportive, and that's been the most helpful thing. Like every time I go back home, my friends and family are always there to cheer me on. So that's it's good. amazing. Yeah. And now your new album, uh, Safe Haven, is out May 5th. Yes. Make sure you pick it up. It's going to be amazing. Um, what can we expect? Tell us a little bit about the inspiration on this album. Um, I think the inspiration kind of varies from various subjects of my life. It's kind of the past two years compacted in 12 songs, and so <laughs> I'm really excited for people to kind of hear what comes after Lost Boy. What, how do you do that? How do you compact you know, the last two years into 12 songs? You must have so much material. How do you decide which songs end up on the album? Yeah, it's kind of nice for me, because when I was making the album, I wasn't really making an album. I'd already written all the songs over the past couple years, and yeah. when my label was like, you should start thinking about an album, I just had to pick the songs, and so I kind of just picked the 12 that I thought did the best representation of me right now as a person Absolutely. and kind of hoping for the best. As a songwriter, do you ever feel like um, you can give away too much of yourself or is that okay with you to be authentic and, and vulnerable that way? Yeah, I think my job as a songwriter is to take my, my feelings, my memories and put them in a way that everyone can understand. And I find that the best way to do that is when you kind of stay as honest as you can. So I think in the beginning I did sometimes get a little wary of the fact like I'm putting my life out. Right. But How personal do you really want to get? Exactly. Yeah. But I feel like that's when people connect most. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you're, you know, performing on the Today Show. You're here with us today. Yeah. You're headlining your first U.S. tour. Mm -hmm. How excited are you? I'm so excited. I mean, <laughs> oh God. it's a road so life. Real. Are you excited? Yeah, it's cool. I love playing in front of people and getting that real life experience. I mean, coming from Vine, it's kind of nice to have no phone in between me and the audience now. So it's been really cool. I mean, it must feel, it must be a very special feeling looking out into a crowd and seeing everyone just mouthing the lyrics. Yeah, that's the best, the best feeling of all of this is when you see someone sing your words back to you in a city that you didn't even know existed. It's always really cool. You mentioned Vine. That's kind of basically where you exploded onto the scene, right? Yeah. Social media can be a very um, tricky thing to navigate, mm -hmm. especially for a young, brilliant artist such as yourself. Mm -hmm. what, how do you feel like you're going to use that tool to yeah. your benefit? I think for me, social media is the best tool just to stay connected with the listeners and I like to hear what they think about my music and what they're going through and try to write for them as well so I just I use it as a tool just to stay connected um, and it's a very powerful tool yeah, as well right definitely. I mean I'm sure there's a lot of young artists that are looking up to you and seeing what you've done so far in your what 21 years of, of life yeah. what any advice that you would give to them um, I would say don't read too into it I mean you're gonna get negative comments at social media but just use it to your advantage and like and put your stuff out there don't be afraid to share your music I know that's sometimes a very scary thing to do but it's gonna make for a good outcome and, and you're gonna have real um, interaction with real people right away it's so amazing you are so incredible we wish you all of the best thank you so Yay. much thank you uh, for more information uh, make sure you check out breakfasttelevision.ca meanwhile don't forget to pick up her new album safe haven drops May 5th or we'll more after the break